Where do worms go in the winter? That's what I'm curious about. That's the question I want to try to answer today. And I'm currently standing on my frozen pool, as you can see. Don't worry, it's only four feet deep. So even if I do fall in, I will survive. But I'm curious if I dig down into the soil, what I will find, if I'll find worms, if I'll find anything else that's living down there. It's currently winter in Ohio and it's about 25 degrees. This is a better day to go looking for worms down in the earth than others because it's been 10 degrees and lower in the past week. So I'm gonna grab this tripod right here and then go and find a shovel so I can do some digging around and exploring in the soil. I know that worms can survive in the winter and I know that they'll burrow down sometimes down to six feet deep. Earthworms will go down into the soil to survive and they'll go into almost like a hibernation type state, but I'm not sure what I'll find in my garden if they will burrow down that far or not. So I'm curious to see what I'll find, but I've got some shovels here. I'm gonna grab a couple of these <laughs> and go see what we can find. Got these shovels, got the tripod, I'm gonna make my way over to one of my back garden beds where I think I'm gonna have the best chance of potentially finding some worms or some life underneath the soil. And as I'm walking up the sloped lawn here, everything's pretty much frozen solid. I can feel the ground under my feet is still frozen from the really cold temperatures we had, but let's go see what we could find. Go through the back gate here with all of my stuff, make my way through and close that up. So Fiende doesn't escape there. Sorry, bud, we'll play with you a little bit later. And go over to my back garden here, get the rest of my stuff and see what we can find here. So I think this is gonna be the best potential spot to find some worms. This whole area right here, I put a lot of food scraps and I was doing some trench composting, basically digging down and burying scraps in this area. Right now, the top is really solid, frozen for sure, but let's see what we can find down there, um, down underneath all that frozen topsoil and the mulch that I put down. Okay, I've got my shovels. I'm gonna get to work digging this hole and see what I can find under here. And I'm curious for a couple of reasons. One, I wanna see for sure if there's some worms down here. Uh, but I also wanna know if it would be worth doing any kind of in-ground composting during the winter. If you had a hole that was dug a couple feet down even, if maybe you'd have some soil life and activity going on that would, ooh, actually, that would decompose some stuff. And what I'm noticing already, the top probably, I don't know, four to five inches or so is pretty frozen solid, like really hard, completely frozen solid. And that's understandable because it did get down to about 10 degrees, but below that, my shovel just, kind of sunk into the soil a lot easier. So I'm thinking there might be something going on down there that is some semblance of life or soil activity. So yeah, you can see here's the, here's the top completely frozen layer of soil. And it's a few inches there. It's probably, it's probably five inches or so. Um, that's a good chunk of one, but now that I'm in the ground here, I definitely see some stuff going on. So I'll bring the camera over and we can take a look here at what's happening. So even just the first, oh, I already see a worm. Just in the first like couple seconds of looking in this hole here, there is definitely a worm um, right here actually. And that worm is moving and that worm is alive. So that, uh, that answered my question pretty quick there. I, I definitely found a worm in this little guy right next to him. 
there's a tiny little, even a baby worm right next to him. They're, they're smaller and wider and they come from the worm eggs that they lay. But wow, that was, that was fast to answer my question. Now I know definitely what's going on down here.